I kind of brought up was with, you know, attitude and gratitude. Be thankful where you are. And you guys are fortunate, right? Because you guys see this shit and it always comes up around recruiting time. You know, when you take all of the high school football players in the United States, less than 7% of them go to any college. Division three, two, one, double A, FCS, FBS. Okay, so you guys are already in a super special privileged place just to be here and be able to go through the grind. You know what I mean? And Coach Carly and I were talking and he shared a story that he, I guess a more of a story about a friend of his. He shared that with me. And that's kind of what got me thinking about the attitude of gratitude with my friend. So I'm going to have Coach Crowley come up here and talk to you guys uh, and share with you what he shared with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. got here in the spring. Uh, we were just doing spring ball. There wasn't much for me to be doing on the field because I just got here. I was still learning the defense, learning special teams, learning scheme stuff. So like a lot of what they had me doing was going through and checking emails of guys that have reached out to Villanova. Just, you know, really what they were doing is they were begging for the opportunity that you guys have. They were begging for the opportunity for Coach Ronnie or Coach Pennypacker just to even take the time out of their day to look at their highlight tape, let alone come and visit them and recruit them. They're really begging for the opportunity that you guys have. And I know we're in the dog days of camp, and I know better than you guys. Like, I did it for five years as well. You get up at 5 o'clock, punch that alarm clock, roll out of bed, and you're coming to training camp just to get beat up for a couple hours and do it all over again. Like, it's hard. It is tough, and I respect the fact that you guys do it. I did it. Mostly coaches in here have gone through it. It's a tough process. But you bear with me because it's hard to wrap your brain around it, but you'll kind of understand a little bit. Like, like how Coach Tuck says, you get to lift. Like, you get to punch that clock at 5 a.m. You get to roll out of bed and come to football. You get to come here and play the sport that all you guys love with your brothers. Like it's such opportunity and it's hard when you're actually going through it to understand how blessed you actually are to be here with your brothers doing what you love. Um, it's pretty crazy. And like you said, I have a friend who has a crazy story. It's kind of, I don't know if you noticed, Coach Penny Packer, Coach Ryan, myself, we have these shirts on. This is a shirt that my friend actually made. My friend has got a ridiculous story. It's crazy. He's gone through so much. He's got so much adversity in his life. It's, it's, it's really an awesome story, and I actually can't do the story justice myself because it's such a great story. So I actually, Coach Ronnie was nice enough to fly my friend in from Delray Beach. Uh, you can call him Wheelie C, you can call him Cruz, because his name is Cruz Bobo. He's here to talk to you guys and kind of just tell his story about where he got today and kind of give you a perspective on how blessed you guys are. So here's my friend Cruz Bobo. What up, boys? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, oh man, I'm happy to be here. Thanks to the coaches for bringing me in. Um, I just want to give you guys a little bit of perspective on life. Um, I had a, a skimboarding accident at the beach uh, like 10 years ago. Uh, for those of you who don't know what skimboarding is, it's like a kind of like a small surfboard, uh, a little skinnier, a little shorter, and when a wave comes and breaks on the beach and leaves like an inch of water on the sand. You throw your board down, you run, you jump on it, and you skim across the water. Um, I've done it a thousand times before, and this one time I just went down for a wave, uh, hit the next incoming wave, just slightly off, fell off the board, slammed the back of my head on the sand, and shattered more, my C4 vertebrae. Um, immediately paralyzed from the neck down, and um, it was crazy, you know, I was knocked out for a split second, woke up face down in the water and realized I couldn't move, immediately paralyzed, like, no leg movement, no arm movement. I was surprisingly, like, calm when it first happened, um, face down in the water, and I'm thinking to myself, alright, this is it, like, I'm gonna die right now, I can't move, I can't flip myself over, can't catch a breath, and um, right after thinking that thought, a wave flipped me over. I got a breath of air, kind of like, it was almost like a smack in the face. I was like, all right, you're still alive. You didn't, di you didn't die yet. So another wave kind of pushed me onto the beach. My friend who I was skimboarding with saw something was wrong. And so he came, pulled me up onto the beach. 
Um, and I'm like starting to freak out a little bit now, can't move. Things are kind of setting in. And I'm looking up at my buddy Alex and I'm thinking, I don't want to be paralyzed. Like, I think I said it out loud twice to him. I don't want to be paralyzed. And this like terrified look on his face was just like, like was not helping to calm me down at all. Um, but you know, the paramedics came, I made it to the hospital. Uh, I was in surgery for like eight hours. They fused my C3 vertebrae to my C5 vertebrae and uh, completely took out my C4 vertebrae because it was shattered. Um, it was pretty intense. Um, I ended up going to the Shepherd Center. Uh, it's a rehab center up in Atlanta, Georgia. And I was there for like two and a half months, uh, rehabbing heavy. They teach you like everything you need to know of how to take care of yourself. They teach your family, um, just like how to continue living life. And um, the perspective of what you have now, like what you guys have, um, you're, you're in the middle of camp right now, right? You guys are hating life right now, huh? It, it's still good. Life is good. Like I can't even get out of my get out of bed in the morning by myself. I have a buddy Kyle who works for me, comes over to my house, gets me out of bed in the morning, feeds me, gets me dressed, picks me up like a baby, puts me in my chair, drives me wherever I have to go. He's my left and right hand man. He does everything for me. And so when that alarm goes up at 5 a.m. for you guys, and you're like hating it, you still get to get up. You get to get yourself dressed. You get to walk yourself to your car. You get to drive wherever you need to go. You get to play this amazing sport of football. And you get to live your life without like serious limitations, which is amazing. That's a gift. Like you need to be grateful for that. And I'm sure most of you are, but there's little times when, you know, you get pissed off or you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that. And you really just, in those times, you got to think, you know, there's people out there who have it way worse than you do. So just focus on the good. Uh, I was talking with the coach, you know, attitude to gratitude. That's huge. You always want to be grateful for what you have because I never thought this was going to happen to me. Split second, like I said, I've done it a thousand times before. It's all it takes is one second. Break your neck, I'm lucky I'm still alive. Um, but life goes on. It's all about a mental attitude. You can approach things with a negative attitude, a negative mindset, or a positive mindset, and that'll make the world a difference. Um, now, this was 10 years ago. How many of you guys are 19 years old? A lot of you guys. I was 19 when this happened to me, just over a decade ago. Just becoming a man, had just left the house first semester at college, like, freedom. I thought I had it all. And then split second, boom, it was all taken from me. So you just gotta like, you know, you gotta know what you have and know that it can be gone in a second and that'll make you that much more grateful. Um, these days, since having this accident 10 years ago, uh, I go to physical therapy at a gym uh, four or five days a week, I spend two hours. And this is, this is my movement right here. This is my pride and joy right here, this little arm wiggle. And that's come like, that's huge. I had absolutely nothing from the neck down 10 years ago. So be grateful for what you have and just, you know, keep looking forward to the future. Keep working hard, positive mindset. Um, I have an apparel company. I actually do some mouth painting with a mouth stick. You can see coach uh, over here wearing some shirts. I do some nautical themed paintings all by mouth. Um, started this apparel company. Um, you guys can check it out, cruisebogledesigns.com. And I also uh, recently started a YouTube interview series called Paralyze This, where I bring on uh, inspiring and hardworking people. Uh, I strap them into one of my old wheelchairs so they're unable to move about 80 or 90% of their body for the entirety of the episode, probably like an hour, uh, just to give them a slight perspective on what it may be like to have a physical disability and slightly change their perspective even in the slightest bit. Um, and that's really my goal now is to um, speak to young men like you or anybody who will listen and just try to change your perspective. Everything that's bad in your life and that, that has like 
a negative impact and gives you a negative mindset, it's not that bad. You guys can continue pushing and turn that negative mindset into a positive mindset and that will literally change your life. Um, so if I can instill in you guys just what I've gone through with this accident and what I've learned without you guys having to go through something uh, as traumatic as this, then my kind of journey and purpose have come full circle and that's what I'm here to leave you with today is just perspective. So I appreciate it coach, I really appreciate you bringing me in. I appreciate you guys all listening to me and hopefully you know this will change your perspective or your mindset even in the slightest and let's go Villanova football!